Come do the funny. Clap, clap your cymbals, content monkey. <laughs> Make the wheel of my intro now. All right. <laughs> stop, 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 stop. <laughs> <laughs> Make the intro. Ah, uh, um, happy wheel of mud. It's not a birthday. It's a wheel of mud. Merry wheel of mud. It's not Christmas. It's wheel of mud. <laughs> wheel of mud. <laughs> um, come here. I need you to get some. Come here. Oh, get up, fraud. Get up, you fraud. Why is your wrist? Nice. Snapping like that. All right, fraud. Come here. Get in there. Get stuck in there right now. Wait, what's in there actually? Go in there. What's Go in find there? Get in there. Oh, that's <laughs> fucked up. I'll say, you know what? I'll just tell him what you told me about Wilma. Said, Matt, can I be in the Wilma intro? <laughs> <laughs> he said, of course. All right, you're going to make the vid. You're making the Wilma. Wilma, we got a 96 overall player guaranteed MCS fantasy pack that no, we we're going to no, we open. No, we don't. Yes, we do. It's just because it's okay. Idiot. She, she, she knows that Wheel of Mud exists, but I don't think she... Do you know how it works? I know you have a challenge wheel that you have to spin. That's a start. Can we're going to do a full episode. Not a full episode, but you're going to have... One sec. Wheel All right, gentlemen. We start the season 2 and 0. Oh. I was doing the first wheel spin. You got this. You got this, Heraliums. You got this, Heraliums. Graveyard. Actually, be lit. No? Yes. Okay, so the, the weekly wild cards top 10 means that we get to pick from this week's wild card top 10. <laughs> not far off from what it means. And we get we get to pick a player from He's an idiot. From the top ten. So they could be an eighty-six overall. They could, be, <laughs> they could be a ninety-six overall. Time will tell when we get and we look. But it's actually pretty we close. get to pick them and we put them on the roster. That's uh, kinda close. Alright. Honestly, not far off at all. We're gonna sort by promo weekly wild cards. And I can choose one player out of the top ten that are on the auction house. However, I have to sort by time remaining. And Al, I'm gonna let you pick our player. This is probably really stupid but I'm gonna let you pick. So we go weekly wild cards, not sorted by buy now. You said 80 as low as an 86. It actually goes to as low as an 87. That was kind of <laughs> cracked. Who have you been sleeping with? Whoever sent you this video clip wants you to get in the street because that's where you belong. His name is MMG. All right, we sort by time remaining and... Okay, so we can choose out of these Why 10 close? players right here. Out of these 10 players, L. I don't know what position you need, but I want to get a wide receiver because that's the coolest position. You're getting... Wait, who are you getting? George Pickens. <laughs> Is that good? Is that good? <laughs> That's actually nasty. Honestly, I feel like maybe Drake Greenlaw would have been better for our team, but George Pickens mm -hmm. is kind of lit. So you want George Pickens, right? Yeah. W, a 97 overall wide receiver. <gasps> he's 97 speed. Fast as fuck, boy. Oh my God, he's cracked. Happy Wheel of Mud, everybody. Also, if you need Madden coins, make sure to go to instantmaddencoins.com. You can buy coins or players. I recommend buying players. It's the safest method. You're going to get a way better deal than what EA would offer you. And my code MMG can get you 10% off. Enjoy the rest of Wheel'em Up, baby. All right, gentlemen, an unorthodox start to Wheel'em Up. I won't lie, but it lands us a 97 George Pickens. I'm gonna grab this George Pickens and then I'm gonna overview the roster here. Is he really that good? Like, is he worth a million coins? He's a fuck. I, I swear to God, he's a monster though. 97 speed, 96 jump, six foot three. He might be better than Justin Jefferson. That all happened real fast though. I need to take a couple steps back. We need to go look at the actual team and see what we do and don't need before we do our second two wheel spins. So we locked in Bo Jackson, which is amazing. That was one of the best hatbacks in the game. My offensive line has gotten significantly better, but it's still shaky. Donovan Smith and Graham Glasgow are not my favorites. Kelsey's amazing. Zion Johnson is definitely usable. And Jermaine Elumenor is okay. I definitely, I mean, I literally did need a wide receiver though, because I have Andrew Ogletree still in there. So we'll move Michael Irvin down to wide receiver three, and then we can move George Pickens to wide receiver two. Wow. I wonder what abilities he gets. He probably gets something for free, right? Mid in elite red zone threat and playmaker. I'm not too big on any of those. There are a lot of free abilities. Slot Apprentice is a no. Short in Elite's really good. Deep Bottle Elite's really good. Honorary Lineman's all right. I'm gonna give him short in Elite. Beat Man Coverage. He should be really good at Beat Man Coverage too. Michael Irvin, I hope this isn't another season where you get completely overshadowed. I hope Michael Irvin can find the end zone a few times and get all the way up to a 95 so he has a solid season. But wow, offense is looking nuts. I got two wheel spins left. Defense though. So Dre Greenlaw probably would have been my right outside linebacker and I might have actually moved Micah to my right end. I think George 
George Pickens was the call. My safeties is manageable for now. I'd like a much better free safety. Tariq Woolen, it's hard to say with him. He is actually really good. He might be serviceable until the end of the season. I would like a D tackle upgrade. Obviously, I, I need a right end upgrade. I need a D tackle two upgrade. And middle linebackers both can get replaced. Ken Norton has been all right in relief, but that's clearly not what I'm looking for in a long-term middle linebacker. Same with MLB too. And for Christ's sake, I need a kicker. Actually, now that I'm looking at Cade York, I'm spinning right now. That way... It'll be fresh out my mind. If I can get a kicker out of this spin, I am getting a kicker out of this spin. Our wheel spin is... Uh, I can get a kicker, but... Oh, I'm such a problem. Why do I do this to myself? See, because there's so many good options that aren't a kicker. I think there's 96 series reduxes now. Is that true or do they not? Do they not go up to 96 right now? They don't go up to 96 right now. The highest series redux, I think, then to 94 or 95. So I could get strong safety Bo Jackson. I do have Palomalu, so I'm not saying he's necessarily someone I need. I could get Richard Sherman. I could get Dexter Lawrence. I could get Quentin Nelson. I could get Alex Kappa. I could get Joey Bone. No, stop it. Stop it. Go get it. Please, bro. Please. Throw me a bone here, Matt. You can do this, Matt. Just go. Just go buy him. I'm getting a kicker. Out of Vinatieri has a series redux. I said if I had an option to get a kicker, I'm getting a kicker. I got one. All right. Adam Vinatieri will finally have some kicker abilities. I'm going to go Zen kicker for slower meter over 45 yards since we actually can kick over 45 yards now. I'm also go precision kicker to see the full arc. Got a kicker ass for one. I also have an insane wide receiver receiver core now so let's see what our last spin can get us if i could choose here i would take an excellent right end or an excellent middle linebacker i think a defensive upgrade would be clutch right now aka team wheel Ooh, i'm not gonna have the decision we could get something crazy good i could take any single aka player in the game but they must come that's all they just must come but they must come from the come on baby what do we got what do we got? Dolphins? Oh, that'd be Cheetah. Except I can't even hardly use that. Cowboys. Cowboys have to have one, right? You know, I say that, but off my dome, I don't know if they have one. Dallas Cowboys, aka player? <laughs> <laughs> they have Michael Irvin. They have Michael Irvin Playmaker. Well, that's no good. Oh, they also have Ed Tutal Jones. He's considered a left end. I can move him to right end. That'll be solid. Very serviceable defensive end. There's only one on the auction house, but it's a clean 50K. That is dirt cheap. <laughs> what is this? Chase just brought me a margarita. He says, National Margarita Day. That's a heater. I'm gonna be buzzed for this wheel, Mutt. All right, gentlemen, I'm gonna be. I'm gonna be. <laughs> We're playing good today. All right, Ed Tutal Jones. So we're going to want him at right end, not left end. Honestly, I think serviceable was an understatement. I think he's really, really good. So here's him compared to 94 Javon Kurtz, who's been amazing. He's a little bit slower, same acceleration, a little bit less strength, same tackle and play rack, less block shed, less power moves, less finesse moves, but he's 89, 91, 92. He's... And if anybody's getting up and swatting down passes, it's Ed Tutal Jones. That makes the D-line significantly better. We're still using Ken Norton. Still got Kalia Davis at D-tackle too. He followed me on Instagram the other day. I wonder if it was because of Wheel of Mud. Because he has clutched up and gotten some sacks before. Mark Robinson's still in at MLB 2. We do have Vinatieri now. We started the season so hot that for once, this is like the first season where I actually have a very good team going into like game three. Obviously, there's holes. Obviously, we can make this team better. But 92 overall with a lot of studs. This is a really good team. Of course, that leaves us with the challenge wheel. Completing the challenge wheel will get me one of any pack from the store that costs coins. Or I can salvage a player in a loss. Oh, oh, this is perfect. I got Vinatieri. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. Hit a crossbar. This can either be the uprights for a field goal or the one that goes horizontally. I'm a kicker. I should know the technical terms for that, but I don't. Additionally, I can hit it however I want. I can hit it on a kickoff. I can hit it with a pass, which I think is possible. And I can hit it on a field goal or PAT. He's got MVS, Gronk, and Travis Kelsey. Potentially a Chiefs theme team. Maybe I'm getting ahead of myself. He does have Gronk. Bugs in your skin. That is a horrible gamer tag. Pistol Bunch. He's got AKA Joe Shiesty and King Henry. This is going to be scary. He is running the football. It's King Henry. So he's always pretty much going to break that first tackle. Looking King Henry again. Oh, rifles one middle. Nice pass lead. Could be a run play once again. I'm going to blitz Parsons and Redick in case this is a run. It is. Oh no. Whoa. Austin Corbett just pancaked Palomalu. Yeah, he's going to be he's gonna be running that rock. You know what? We don't hardly ever see people who run the ball a lot. This is actually kind of exciting. Ooh, it is a pass. He's going to throw. Ooh, that was close. Oh, it is a pass. Ooh, 
good pass lead. I was close to that, but not close enough. You like men. This will be a good game. Boots it out of bounds. That's good news for us. I will take the extra field position. Now, I heard my opponent like the run game. So I thought I'd... Oh, shit. I say as I get negative one yards. Second and 11. I'm going to go to the air early. Ooh, Pickens, a bad ball, but it's caught anyway. He has an ability on every single player on defense. Charles Tillman, Jalen Watson, Bojack, Bosa, Hendricks, Alodi Nada, Hitman, Prez. This is the best team in the game. He legitimately has the best team in the game. He's running spinner. Did he just run commit? How did he get those angles? There's Hawkinson. Missed pass, third and 16. Under pressure is going to give me... I was gonna lose that game and he quits mid game. I literally was gonna lose that game, dude. He was smoking my ass. I'm just gonna go find a new game. Same challenge wheel. I gotta hit a crossbar. We just play a new game and we act like that didn't happen. Rome 6118, a beautiful top three of your own. I'm so incredibly impressed. And there's ours, baby. Bo Jackson, Justin Jefferson, Sauce Gardner. All right, gentlemen, let's clamp up with Nickel. I have Tariq Woolen as a user. That's so sick. Goes with a double fake jet sweep, and I missed with Tariq Woolen. Oh, I could have just laid the hammer. Another jet sweep. Shit. I hope this is not stretch. It's not stretch. It's bench. Oh! I wish he'd gotten that ball off. That was an INT. This is weird. I don't run a lot of man, but I'm running it right now. Third and three. He's going to the air. Oh! Oh! No! No! And Bo Jackson throws a block. Scary Terry. That went from an interception to a reception. A broken tackle to another broken tackle. I got heat in his face too. At least all the haters in the comments, you can't bitch that I got an easier game because this game has started literally the exact same. Just to be clear, by the way, my players are not locked in. I am not considering that last game as a win. I have to win here to secure my team. He also has an ability on every single player on defense. All right. Ooh, George Pickens just tore George his man. George Pickens. George Pickens! Oh my god, George Pickens! Who is that on George Pickens? You're getting lit up 24 on the edge. That's James Bradbury. Oh, I'm sorry, James. <laughs> I'm just gonna go bow underneath. Oh, I gotta get fearless. I could look at Justin Jefferson here. Oh, he's there? Just barely, but he is there. James Bradbury once again. I'm gonna run stretch left, cut this back to where the user was, and find some room. What do we think about Justin Jefferson? There's Justin Jefferson. Let's go! Justin Jefferson's wide open on the slant on the left. Seven. Oh, I gotta hit a crossbar. Let's do it right now. See, we just hit the top left with what I did right there. No, not at all. I'm gonna go look to the left side. Ooh, never mind. Never mind. Just get there. Just get there. He's looking at D-Hop. I knew it. I knew it. Maybe a run? I mean, it certainly looks like it. Play action. Yup, get there. Oh. Oh, get a big hit. Get a big hit. Hey, there we go. All right, we're sending a heater. Get to the QB. Oh, I just... Dude, I'm blitzing so many, and we're getting no pressure, but that is third in inches. I'm gonna go blow this up. I'm gonna go blow this up. Oh my god, what's going on? I sent the house and we couldn't get that. Damn. Just be ready for a play action. It's play action. <sighs> Damn. We keep leaving that window open. Does he throw out of this or does he pass out of this? Wait, did I just say does he throw or does he pass? That makes no fucking sense. Does he throw or does he run? He runs out of it. We make a great low tackle. I know Bo Jackson. You have to low tackle him. All right, I got a lot in coverage here. I'm guessing pass. This is kind of risky. But if I guess correctly, we could actually stop him for once. Hey, let's go. Fourth and two. Fourth and two. Does he take it? He's going for it. Single back bunch. I'm going to come in 3-3 three, three, Cub. Tampa two. QB spy over the middle. If he runs the ball, he's got it. I'm guessing pass. It's got to be. I don't think he has anything. Sorensen, break that up. No way. Oh my God. He got two feet in on that. I'm going to go blow this run up. Oh, I knew it. I knew it. Let's go. Oh. Oh, how, dude, he, how does he keep finding these? This guy's legit. If he runs the football, I'm in so much trouble. Ooh, he thought about it. He thought about it. Fourth and goal. Here we are again. A man who wants it this bad. If he runs it, he's going to get it. But I'm dropping into coverage. Get there. Let's go. No, I didn't mean.
to dive. Oh my god. Okay, so that's Douglas. Cool. I don't know where Douglas is in my... I think that's the free 86 overall Razul Douglas. I have no idea how he just got subbed in, but he just made a monster fucking play. Do I have somebody named Douglas on my team? Either way, that is not a starter, but he just made one of the biggest plays of the game. I'm going first and 10. Deuce close to the left. Just gonna try and get us somewhere not so shitty. Second and five. Oh, get there, Bo. Get that edge. Let's go. And he's out of bounds at the 11. It's third and two. Oh, no. That's a bad it's ball. It's a horrible yeah. ball. He's got it perfectly played. He's, he's shading outside. That's so smart. First and 10. This is really weird, but I wonder if this will work. What the fuck is this pass rush? Are you kidding me? I'm going to look for it again. I just barely get the ball into Justin Jefferson. They get third and three with 21 seconds left. This defense is crazy, man. Oh, Pickens actually got him. Oh, but he broke it up. I'm struggling a lot with what he's doing. We do find Justin Jefferson got flattened for it, but we're at the 40 with 14 seconds left. We got a little bit of a miracle here. Can you get out of bounds? In no, no, no. Damn, man, this is this is hard. Now that I think about it, I don't even remember how I got. How did I get in the end zone the first? Time? All right, we got some time there. That was promising. First and 10, I'm gonna run this to the right side. It looks really good. I gotta get past the user, I do. I go Hawk. Dude, this man coverage is so frustrating. Why are you bodying that route? What the fuck? This could be our first opportunity for a touchdown though. I see press coverage on Justin Jefferson. Go Jefferson, oh my God, he's got me beat. How, how? Justin Jefferson beat him off the line. How did he end up in front of him? Oh, this sucks, dude. I'm getting fucking bottled by main coverage right now. I don't remember what he did out of this last time. It was the double jet sweep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, we're there to stop it this time. Nice work. No, 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 no. Not in a game like this, man. He's gonna hand it off up the middle. A tackle. He's in field goal range already, though. I'm him. I'm just shooting the clock, kicking a field goal. Oh my god. Oh my god. I just got the block a kick animation, except I hit the kicker. Does it ever just feel like the game is rigged? Like, it's already determined who's gonna win. You kind of just have to hope. I don't know if that's ever even happened to me. I don't know if I've ever gotten a roughing the kicker in my history of playing Madden. Could be just a run up the middle. Sure is. I just got flattened. And two tall Jones just got actually hand kicked. Let's see if we can hit the crossbar, at least get our challenge. How do you get to me that fast, man? This is how I got down the field before. I would remember this earlier. It might have been a different story, but still, I think I'm outgunned pretty severely here. This is how I got it before, didn't I? Oh, he dropped it. No. Oh, yikes. I just got to go hit the crossbar, man. I'm so outgunned in this game. I'm just, I'm simply getting outplayed. I literally just ran commit middle and I got ran over. I need to get in range to hit the crossbar so I can salvage a player. Otherwise, I lose everybody from today's episode. That's not a lot to ask. Ooh, Justin Jefferson broke it. Two minute warning comes up. I feel like the best route would be to get as close as humanly possible and then just center align it with it. Bo's got it. Got lit. Uh, that's third and three. There's Hawkinson again. Hey, caught that one. Little spin. I'm getting in range now, at least. I have to be more prepared, though. Like, if I face this defense in the playoffs right now, I'd lose the game, right? So we have to get ourselves to a point where we can actually beat this. I fucking hate these losers who play like this, but it's part of the game. I have to learn, or I will just simply lose every game I play. Third and ten. I'm just going to try and pick up a couple because we know it's... Oh, my God. If I had stuck to the run more earlier, I think I would have had a better chance in this game. I don't know how much it would have really changed. <laughs> that's hilarious. Oh my it god, that's like... hilarious. Oh my god, Bo's running a route, and he just decides to run right into his own offensive lineman, and Malik Willis throws the ball directly to Tariq Willen's hand. And he just caught that ball. Dude, I'm telling you, sometimes the game literally just tells you, you're gonna lose. These are my best odds. What? George Pickens had two yards on him. How? Where did he even get the ball from? Where? How? Dude, all I want is to be in range to kick a fucking field goal. He's got a wide open man. I can't believe he didn't throw it earlier. Way to set your feet. That was smart. 
That is, uh, that's example A. He could do anything and score the ball. Dude, I have to see that last INT again. 43 to seven. This also did tell me though, I got to get rid of Malik Willis. Malik Willis has been nice, but if I play like a God squad like this, who runs meta cheese blitzes, I'm fucked. Look at this though. George Pickens is inside of him and has a yard of separation. So how did he end up with the ball? I love the ball's trajectory changing. Look at the ball. That ball is about to land in George Pickens' hands. And then its trajectory at the end just changes. It just goes into Bradbury's hands. Dude, it's tough enough to fight those cheesy man blitzes, but that was on a whole different planet. So nobody stays from today's episode, but low-key, I'm not that upset about it. George Pickens would have been really nice to have on the team the whole time, but Ed Tutal Jones is mid, and Vinatieri is mid as far as kickers go, but I did just need a kicker. Cade York is back in. Dominique Robinson is back in. Damn! Yeah, man, really tough loss, but this is Wheel of Mutt. I don't get to pick and choose what I upload, so I gotta take my L here. We moved to two and one on the season. I lose the players we added today, but hopefully we can come back on the next game and be three and one. All right, boys, I love ya. Thanks for watching as always. I'm sorry I couldn't come through today. I just struggled, but hopefully, you know, I'll reset, recalibrate. Have a good one next time. I love you guys. Thanks for watching as always, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.